In our last video, we talked about adding a text watermark. In this video, we want to talk about adding an image watermark. Now, there are a few things that you'll need to be aware of before you create your image watermark. The first is position. If you're going to place your video on YouTube, you'll notice that YouTube already puts a watermark in the lower right-hand corner. So if you were to put your watermark in that same place, then you'll have these two watermarks overlapping, and that won't look great. Number two is consider an alpha or PNG file. So with PNG, they have something called transparency uh, that we call alpha that allows you to look through the image and allows you to have an invisible part. So if you have a logo, it will probably look better if you use a PNG that has the alpha with that background taken out rather than using just a, a standard block for your image. And the last thing to consider is color. I prefer, personally, to have a grayscale image rather than a colorful image. Now, color images can work well for watermarks, but again, in general, I think grayscale will work the best. So let's take a look at how we can create this inside Camtasia. Instead of needing to create an item and put it on the timeline, here we can just go up to the Share menu and go to Local File. When we do that, we can't choose the standard options that we would normally choose, like MP4 only up to 1080. Instead, we need to go to Custom Production Settings. Next, we'll leave it at MP4. Next, we'll leave these settings alone. Next. On this screen, we see the option to include a watermark. So we'll want to check that box to include a watermark, and we'll have some options. When we go to the options, we can find the image that we want to use. I'll go ahead and go to my pictures, and I'll show you an example of a logo that has that alpha that I talked about earlier and one that doesn't. So this one does not have the alpha, and you can see it has a box around it. You can see that it's very square even though it's a circular image. Instead, I want to use the one that is a PNG file that has the alpha. And here now I can see that it looks just like a circular image. The next thing I typically do is I drop the opacity. I don't need it to be quite that opaque, so I'll bump it down to like somewhere around 25% is my preference. And again, it'll depend on how bold your image is, how far down you want to take this. The next thing is, this video will be uploaded to YouTube, so I don't want it in the lower right. Another good safe place to put it is the lower left. As I look at it there, the image is a little larger than I want, so I'm going to drop that image scale down just a bit. Um, probably there, somewhere around 15 or 16 percent. That looks good. And then last, if I need to move it up or down, left or right, I can do that. So if I need to bump it a little bit to the right, I can do that. Or if I need it to go higher or lower, I can do that. So if I want it just a little further in that corner, I can drop both of these to 3 percent, and then it's a little further in that lower left corner. When I'm done, I click OK. And then what it'll do is it will put this throughout the entire video. I don't have to worry about adding it to any place on the timeline. I'll click Next. I'll give it a name. I'll choose a location. And I'll click Finish. 